What's up, you guys? Welcome to Books, Beauty, and Stuff. This is my in-between series, episode six. Honey, let me drink this juice because this is about to get real juicy and messy because I'm about to read some people in this joint. First of all, season three of the Millionaire Wives Club series has to be the most juiciest one I ever read. My girl, Tashonda Whitaker, knows how to make reality TV ratchet, ready to fight, glamorous, sexy, hot, freaky, and straight juicy and entertaining and ratchet at the same time. And I love it. I so love it. Um, This particular book, all four of my alter egos were satisfied. Jace was satisfied. Junior was satisfied because, you know, his ass loves some drama. Johnny loved the friendships. And Jonathan, he liked dealing with serious subjects such as child support, divorce, childhood abuse and stuff. Anyway, let's get on. If you have not read uh, Millionaire Wives Club and Money Never Sleeps, number one, first, before I go on with this video, I advise you to go uh, get it from Amazon um, on ebook because, honey, you not you need to catch up on that before you get season um, three and book three of this uh, series. Okay, next. Now, let's go into these um, five crazy ass bitches because, ooh, them girls wore my nerves. First of all, on the front of the cover, all four of these hoes is beat to the gods. To the gods. Look at these. Look at this makeup. Look closely. Mm hmm. Look at this. Look at this. Beat to the gods. Eyebrows is done. Arched to death. Lips is on point. Wonder if that's Mac. Cover girl don't know. Eyes is looking good. Their face is flawless. So I give them hoes that. They got, they got some flawless faces. Hmm. All four, three of her books, all them hoes was flawless. Let me get on to what these scandalous divas done did this season. Mm. As you know, my favorite from book two, Vera. Vera Bennett is going through a messy uh, separation with her husband, Taj, because she come to find out that he had a child. The year they uh, job separated a little bit. Hold on for a minute. Oh, this ain't no eye That's the metro. That they separated a little bit. Uh, you know, now, it's like she couldn't get over the fact that she is pissed. Girlfriend goes on a rampage. I was like, damn, Vera. Damn. Can I expect that from you? Oh, yeah, it's Vera. So, you know, she she got glitz and glam, but she will bring that Brooklyn out when she needs to. Bing, bing. Then we got my girl, Jace, who's still calling her grown-ass man at 20 years old that he netted up in all these hood rats, got two kids, and he's still going around um skeet, skeet up and up. Child. And this mama is so over it. Like, she was all like, oh, that's my baby. No, your baby got two babies now. Your baby need to grow up and be a man. And I have to agree with Belial on this one like I did the last one. Because my thing is, you married him and you should make it about your husband. Yes, that's your child. And like I said in one of my videos that I don't believe um children should come over dick. But my thing is, your grown child was shooting this dick everywhere. So he has to grow up. That's one thing I will say. If you ain't doing nothing with your life, not going to college, not going to school, not doing anything to pay your child, you need to grow up. And Jace is all like, oh, that's my baby. Jace wanted me to punch her in her face a couple of times. I like Jace, but when she, t with her child, it's the, the way she does it, it's, it's, it's a trip and a half. Okay? Then you got Milan, who is with her husband, Kendall, going through it. Ooh, I can, what I can I say about this child? Um, Carmen's a huge bitch for Milan. That's all I got to say. You shall see why when you read this book. And I like Milan, but I don't. It's like I love, hate thing with Milan. Chauncey, Chauncey, Chauncey. Now, I really didn't never liked her. I don't know why. I never liked Chauncey. Her business fails, and she gets bought by somebody named Grant. I forgot his last name. But grand and white boy, fine to say, I look, you know, I'm going to tell y'all, Jace love him up, African-American brother, he love him up, fine brother's name. But, mmm, Jace will dip up him vanilla a couple of times, but he love him a chocolate brother, but he will dip him vanilla. Mmm. Let me just say, mmm, all white men ain't short. All white men ain't short, child. Mm. Chase is such a slut. But anyway... I like her husband, our fiance, Emery, because he's even, I don't care if he's blue collar or not. The fact that he's trying to make it work, he loves this woman, and all she wants to do is sneer at him. I want to say to her a couple of times, bitch, do you realize how many women and single women and gay men are looking for a good man like that? And your ass will not mess it up because you're so damn bougie. Whatever happens to your trifling ass, what happens, you slut? 
I don't, as you know, I don't like Chauncey. Then you got a newcomer. Her name is Journey Dupree, honey. She is the um wife of this old geezer named I'm Zachary. And as you know, Z um Journey and Chauncey was involved in some drama years ago when they was young. 17 used to strip prostitute, um, run game on dudes and all that jazz. So Chauncey ain't all that uh cute. I'm like, mm, okay, okay. But um, Journey um, sh shuts a couple of bitches down in this joint. And I'm like, I love it because, for one, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the hoes need to get shut down. Some of these hoes need to get shut down. But also, with Vera Sai, you see more of the relationship with her mother, how she, you know, it's like Vera will not let her, let her mom go, let her go where her mother did. And I'm not going to lie, I could actually... I can actually understand with Vera because Jonathan had a very, very trouble. Not a trouble past, but it, his early years was not something you wish on your worst enemy. So it's like, I can understand where Vera come from. And I had many, many years of anger with my own mom at the time also. So Vera said I truly can understand. But at the same time, I knew when not to go, go not when to test my mother. Because I knew a couple of times I've, I have seen her on the other side of the wall when I back told my mother and stuff, you know. But I just gotta say this book deals with more sex, drama, um, deceit. I'm just gonna say to Shonda, you wore me out with these four, these five. I'm sorry. I literally was tired after reading this book. I'm like, damn. These bitches done sent me to the ringer. And all I got to say is, you got to see what happens at the end. So I'm definitely telling you to pre-order this joint. Now. Pre-order this joint. Also, if you have not read Millionaire Wives Club or Money Never Sleeps, I'm going to link that below. And I just got, I'm also link my girl to Shonda's website below as well. I'm just going to say, she did a fabulous job on this joint. All four of my alter egos are satisfied. Jason may have to read a couple of scenes over again because he names to like that. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching Books, Beauty, and Stuff. Thank you guys for supporting all my authors. And thank you guys just for supporting me as a whole. Thank you guys so much. I will talk to you later. Bye.